Whoa, guys! Awesome news today! Playmate Toys got the Kong vs. Godzilla toys license from what I could see. I went to several different Walmarts and I found all of these awesome new Kong and Godzilla toys. Let's go ahead and check them out. And I hope they are coming out with a lot more because the movie doesn't come out till November, so they have plenty of time. Also, make sure you vote on the community section of my channel which one of these toys you want to see me unbox first. Okay, so we're gonna start with the King Kong. So this is Kong. It says Skull Island. But since Skull Island movie came out like years ago, I'm sort of wondering, did they get the, uh, the, the rights for the Skull Island toys? Or is this leading up into the new Kong vs. Godzilla? So this is definitely a new King Kong. I mean, I think he looks pretty cool. He's not as big as the one from Lantern Toys. So as you can see, the lantern one is a lot bigger. In my opinion, I think lantern did a better job on it. I mean, if you look at this King Kong, I mean, that looks a lot more realistic than this one. This one here looks almost more toy-like. I mean, he does have the scratches and everything. And uh, I know the uh, one from uh, the Skull Island one, that King Kong was a juvenile Kong, so maybe this is an adult Kong, or they are really just remaking the toys from Skull Island. But, to me it seems kind of a coincidence. Why remake the toys from Skull Island now, especially with the Kong vs. Godzilla movie coming out? And if they are remaking them, then Playmate Toys probably has the license for Kong vs. Godzilla. But right now, I'm gonna say these are the new Kong vs. Godzilla toys because it's just too close to the release of the movie. I know it's November, but the toys come out way ahead of time. So there, you can see the new and then they also made a smaller Kong. So again, this is Kong from Skull Island. This one looks a lot more docile. I mean, you can see he looks totally relaxed. I don't know, maybe King Kong had a kid? <laughs> I have no idea. You don't know what happened in Skull Island. That was 50 years ago. 50 years before this one's release, so in 50 years a lot, lot could happen. So here you got a big angry Kong, and here you got like a, I don't really care, laid back type of Kong. So there again you can see, it is talking about Skull Island, but Kong is going to be, King Kong is going to be coming from Skull Island, so it's sort of, it might. So this is definitely the MonsterVerse. And then I don't think it's a coincidence that they are coming out with the new Godzilla toys at the same time as they're coming out with the King Kong toys. So to me, it seems like they definitely got the license. I mean, these could be the, uh, Godzilla toys already from Kong vs. Zilla. I mean, I know it says 2004, but maybe they're going to come out with a whole line of the Godzilla ones. So this is cool too. You got uh, good movement on the arms and the head. It is a big figure right in line with the Kong one. And from what I'm reading, Kong is supposed to be about the same size as Godzilla in the new one. So Kong has grown a lot. Uh, one thing we didn't check was movement. So not that much movement on the Kong figures. Uh, pretty much similar to the Lantern ones. So this is 
talking about the 2004 Godzilla Final Wars, but it is Playmate Toys 2020 license. So, like I said, I think they got the licensing rights for the new Godzilla vs. Kong movie. And then they also came out with a 2016 Godzilla, which is leading me up to the same theory. I think they're going to come out with a whole line of the past Godzillas leading right up to the new one. This one does look cool. It's not as cool as the NECA one. NECA did a much better job, but it is uh, decently affordable. I believe this one was $15 at Walmart. So you can see they will have a, a Gigan. That's this Godzilla here. They're going to have a Destroya and Space Godzilla, which I already have. So the Godzilla, the King of the Monster toys, which came, came out like two years ago, those were made by Jax Pacific. So it looks to me like Jax Pacific lost the license to them. So Playmates Toys definitely is looking like they're going to be the ones that's going to have the license for Kong vs. Godzilla. So that's gonna be uh, coming out this year, 2020, November. So once again, you've got the four of them. So I'm hoping they do come out with a whole line of them. Uh, you know, not much movement in it or anything, but you know, it's a new line of Godzilla toys. So I'm super excited for the Godzillas and the Kongs. And once again, you can see if you look at the smaller Kong figure they have, it lines up exactly with the Godzilla toys. So once again, it's showing Godzilla and Kong are going to be pretty much the same size. So I'm sort of wishing they almost came out with another one of the big figures that, uh, that Lantern Toys did. Uh, I, I can't say enough of Lantern Toys, guys. I mean, they're uh, like a toy production company, which a lot of people don't know about. But Lantern went all out. I mean, when they do a license, I mean, they do a great job. So they did do the uh, King Kong Skull Island ones, which uh, actually the rest of this week, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys those toys. They are awesome toys so if you missed my videos the first time i will be re-releasing those and they are awesome hi guys wolf dinosaur here and today's secret word is the word go ahead and put that in the comment section down below the video when i know you're a member of my club see you soon Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun video. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos. And if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.